When doctors diagnosed Robin Vossler with breast cancer at age 36, everything in her life changed. It's been a emotional roller coaster to say the least. She took a break from work, lost her hair, underwent surgery and began chemotherapy. I just finished my second treatment and um, for me, um, I get a lot of bone pain and also just a lot of nausea. Her search for an activity that allowed her to exercise as well as rebuild energy led her to yoga for cancer survivors at St. Joseph's Hospital. Cancer doesn't matter here. Melissa Nordine is an exercise physiologist and yoga instructor with Baycare Health System. Oftentimes when you have a disruption due to surgical intervention or you've been exposed to chemotherapy or radiation, you have a limited range of flexibility over time and without adjusting to that, it doesn't change. So what we try to do is maintain what you have and get a little bit of a gain in what you started with before therapy. She has a three-prong approach to yoga, flexibility, breath, and socialization. We know what each other is going through. So we know the challenges that we face and we have that commonality. And so we kind of reinforce, positive reinforcement. It's really great. Yoga is very, it's helping with your breath and it's helping with your serenity. Um, it's not testing your cardio or, um, you know, just really pushing me beyond limits on a week that I've had chemo that it just, um, it isn't gonna happen. Modifying each pose to the best of your ability, implementing breathing techniques, and developing new friendships keeps these survivors coming back week after week. I'm just, just very happy that we take modalities like movement and yoga as part of therapy for the body, mind, and spirit. As with any new exercise program, Please check with your physician to make sure you are a good candidate for yoga.